What's up, my cherry bombs? Hi, Nori. Welcome. Hi, Angela. Hi, Naya. Hello. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to today's live. Hey, okay, y'all coming in fast. Hi, what's up? How you guys doing today? Um, as you guys know, I have been down with the flu for the past two weeks, so that's why I haven't been posting. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and bring in um, this new week. Sorry, y'all. My husband and his best friend is here, and they are distracting me. I'm so sorry. But anywho, y'all, um, yeah, like I said, I was just trying to, um, I want to bring in this new, oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, everybody. Grabbing your, grab your wine right now. Yes. I just wanted to bring in this um, live by um, going live with you guys since I haven't had no videos to edit. But I promise you guys next week we're going to have all the videos lined up. Everything is going to be back in order. But you guys already know that I was sick. If y'all didn't know, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram because you'll probably see real time updates on there because sometimes I'll be forgetting to go on um, the communities tab to share with you guys. So there's that. I'm glad you're feeling better. I am. I still got the little congestion a little bit, but I could smell and I could talk and stuff like that. But earlier um, in the, you know, flu journey or whatever, girl, I couldn't smell nothing. Not that I lost my sense of smell. I didn't lose my sense of smell. I just was so congested that I could not smell anything. But I have one. Okay. So first of all, my, um, my sister-in-law, has been talking about Rose Roscado. And I'm over here thinking that it is something super strong because I like wine that's about 14% and up. Child, when I got this, first of all, the um, it was a drive-thru. <laughs> so they gave me something that's huge. So I was like, okay, cool. When I seen the price, it was $25. I'm like, for this size, it must not have that big of a um, percentage. Child, when I looked at it, it's only 7%. I'm like... Nah, y'all playing with my soul. So I might have to mix it. Who knows? But we're about to um, test it out real quick. So grab your wine. Um, grab your snacks. I don't have a snack, but grab your wine, grab your snacks. And we're going to talk about my most complimented fragrances of 2024 so far. And I have 20 to share with you guys. So don't forget to share this live. Um, like this live. And let's get right into it. I had some of this red wine that Mark got me, but... It's not my favorite. Um, it's bitter. And it's not something that I would drink by itself. It's something that I would drink with a meal. Um, so I'm going to just finish this. And then um, I'm going to try the Roscada or whatever. Your hair is getting so long. I know. Like, it's crazy. I have an ad coming up um, with Olaplex. Y'all going to see it. Like when it's wet, oh my gosh, it's crazy. I I don't know, I don't know when my hair grew this long. To be honest with y'all, I honestly don't know. I don't know, I don't know when it, when it grew this long. I am feeling so um good. Like I said, hello everybody. Hi, how y'all doing today? All right, I'm about to pour my wine. Well, juice, because I don't think this is wine, to be honest, y'all. So let's go ahead and pour it. Oh, it's red. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to wait for y'all to pour y'all wine, and let me know when y'all ready for me to start. Do you like it sweet or dry? I like dry, and that one that I had is a um, Carbonet, or was it a Merlot? I don't know, but it was super dry and I like it. I just don't like it by itself. Like I, I'm not going to sit there and drink it by itself. 
something like this yeah this is juice for me like i could sit here and drink this whole bottle but i'm not because this is huge like look at it compared to my <laughs> it's a sweet red yeah italiana italia i don't know child but it was my first time trying it and i'm like you know what why not hello i just i hello i saw you wait 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 okay let me see here wait hello i saw you friday but i didn't want to bother you <gasps> why didn't you walk up don't ever do that like because you think about it y'all you guys watch me and y'all know who I am, but I don't know who you guys are, like physically. So I could literally be walking past a cherry bomb and I would not know. Please feel free to walk up to me and say, I'm a cherry bomb, you know, like let me know. I will never feel bothered. Unless you see me fighting, don't walk up. But like, <laughs> and that's rare. You will never see me fighting. But yes, please walk up when y'all see me in public. I love to hear, um, to see you guys on friday i actually met a cherry bomb um and it was awesome so please walk up to me walk up and let me know oh hi from s bay area wine poured cheers yes when do you announce the winner of the giveaway i usually just send it to them in their dms um i don't really let people know when i am I, anymore when i'm announcing a giveaway unless it's a giveaway partnered with a company like the amazon giveaways i have to physically announce when i am going to be giving them away but i don't usually do that because believe it or not the day and i'm talking about the moment it hits 1 8 um 12 a.m eastern standard time my dms my comments blow up to the point that my phone will heat up so i said yeah if it's not a sponsored giveaway which i don't really like to do those in again um baby i'm not about to announce it i'm not i promise you i'm not i am not because yeah no <laughs> i'm not i'm not because you guys just be going too crazy in the comments or in the dms I'm drinking a sweet red right now also. Mine is inexpensive one, Stella Rosa Black. Oh, this one was not as expensive either. I feel like it's cheaper um, for the regular bottle, but he gave me this big one and it's $25. So you already know that the regular size is cheaper. So it's not that expensive either. So don't feel bad. I'm not drinking nothing fancy. I'm, I'm very much a polish, polish cheap girl. <laughs> My wine is ready. All right, Mark. Mark over here making, y'all, I had a big plan for this live to go so smooth like a video because I know people are going to play it back. But then the moment I hit live, that's when they start slamming doors, just talking, whispering in the corner, knocking me down on my feet. Like I was so ready to have this looking so professional, at least in the first 30 seconds. So that way someone could feel like they're watching a video. But then Mark started to do all his stuff at the moment I clicked live. So there's that so no mark leave me alone get out this live he's literally sitting right there though <laughs> uh what pairs well oh ooh, the comments are coming in strong um so let me go ahead and see what pairs well with versace versace crystal well this video this live i'm not gonna talk about pairing or anything um but i've never tried that one to be honest with y'all so i don't like the crystals I only like Crystal Noir. That's it. Um, yeah. I'm a newbie here, and all I want to do is order all the PDMs, MFKs, Bianca Latte, Escapade, Grimond, the V, and Tiziana so much, and I just can't. Don't do it. Don't do it, because they will always be here. The only time I would tell you to feel pressured to buy something at that moment is if it's being discontinued, and I physically and verbally tell you, listen here buy this right now because it's going to be discontinued if i don't tell you that girl it's okay because the video is going to always be there and the fragrance is going to always be there and even if it's out of stock it'll come back unless i physically tell you that it is being discontinued do not ever feel overwhelmed or feel like you're left out because you're not buying them at the moment don't because you don't have to i have bianco latte has been in my um on my wish list for the longest and i did not buy it until recently and the hype already went down so there goes that. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I'm from New York City. Wine poured ready. Okay, Mark, she is married to... All right, your makeup is just so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Mark. You trying to be on my better side. <gasps> hey, boo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I see a lot of my OGs. Hey, Andy. <gasps> Y'all so annoying. <laughs> all right. All right, you guys. So I want you guys to let me know if y'all ready. Just go ahead and spam the comments with ready so we can start off with the fragrances. Girl, that money, honey. Mm, cheers to your dreams. I can't pour with you because I got pregnant after one of your perfume recommendations. <laughs> I love it. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. I do have my pen and book in a oh i'm so happy for you congratulations congratulations hopefully it's a healthy boy or girl or twins child <laughs> congratulations all right go ahead and say ready okay then i got you she ready okay she ready period all right let's go ahead and start off with my most complimented fragrances of 2024 so far and we're only three about to be four months in okay so these are some fragrances that i've piled up that i realized that i got more than three compliments from during this time um during this you know season hold on now let me make sure i have everything in the um live for y'all just making sure let's see here because I want everything to be down there for you guys to come. Um, oh, yep. Okay, so if y'all check the um, description box, everything will be there. Obviously, if you can't wait to hear my description, you will literally see the list right there. So there's that. But if you can wait and listen and hear, then that's cool too. All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and make sure everything is correct on the live right before I start because I don't want to like the moment I start talking about these fragrances I don't want to stop I don't okay and I want to um be respectful for your time I know it's Friday night and you could have been everywhere or anywhere and you chose to be here and I truly appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart y'all have no idea how much I love you guys and um yeah so everything is good let's see let's just make sure the last step is this okay uh let's see here it's public okay okay y'all go ahead and share the live share the live share the live everything is okay and we about to start yay all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off with our first house now i have it in um different categories i have Ha one house which is sniff because i've worn these sniff fragrances then i have designers and um then i have middle easterns and then i have Navatus perfumes the ones that stood out to me the first so we're just gonna go ahead and start off with sniff because it is um you know hey boo hey it is uh its own house so yeah you're my go-to with anything fragrance the goat all right you guys oh thank you so much Hey, <laughs> I love y'all. Like the lot. Nini, period. Hey, Nini, thank you so much. Listen to Nini. Listen to Nini. All right, the first fragrance is my favorite cherry fragrance. Um, I want to say, I'm not going to say of all time, but it still is one of the most gorgeous cherry fragrances. And if you guys check the description box below, you guys will see that I have a discount code, um, which is Cherry10, I think, for Sniff. And this one is Tarte Deco. Tarte Deco is exactly what it says it is. It is Tarte. Like, look at the dent. Y'all know I've been wearing her. If y'all see this dent, it is um, powdery. It's sweet. The um, cherry is a little tart, but it's not as tart. I like this one because it is powdery. Oh, my gosh. Comment down below if y'all have seen this or if y'all have tried this. Love it. Super long last lasting. Oh, we live? Yeah, baby. We are live. We are live. Hello from the UK. Hey. 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 
Yes, I love this. It's so good. Um, Tarte Deco is one of the cherry fragrances that came out during the time of the cherry era where everyone was bringing out a cherry fragrance. And I just felt like every cherry fragrance smelled the same. And I just didn't understand why everybody was making the same cherry. And then when Sniff came out with their fragrance, they said, baby, we're going to come out with something that is totally different from what you guys are used to. Yeah. And I was just like, yes, I love it. I love it here. It is so good. It is so fresh. And let me tell you something. Okay, not fresh. The powderiness is fresh, but it's not fresh. It's very sexy and sensual. <sighs> Definitely a unique cherry. Okay, I just got a new cherry in, um, in my collection. Today, I literally just got it. But I can't share it until it goes live. But I'm excited to smell that one too. It's amazing. You haven't seen this one? Go ahead. Girl, this is so good. Tarte Deco by Sniff. Sniff is a, let me give you all a little background, but Sniff is a affordable niche house. They make affordable fragrances because um, they don't spend too much money on the, um, what is it called? Packaging. So they make affordable fragrances for us to smell good and they're very unique. And they do collaborations with other brands. I mean, uh, influencers a lot. So yeah, hopefully one day I could do a collaboration. Who knows? But Tarte Deco is awesome. I like it. Tarte Deco is good. Um, I have a dedicated Sniff video that I will link in the description box below for you guys later on. But Sniff, um, Sniff is it. Sniff is really good, especially if you're trying to smell unique but on a budget. Really, 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 really love it. Oh my God. All right, the next one is Burning Bridges. Now this one is, I, w I like to say this one is one that smells like tobacco vanille. If you guys ever smell tobacco vanille, then this is exactly what that is, but better, okay? They're in the same um, fragrance family. It's a beautiful, where's Pierre? You just standing there? there? Pierre can sit down. You can sit down, Pierre. Really? <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, all right. Y'all know I wasn't going to get through this video without Mark popping in. So, let me just go ahead and... You can come here. Let me just... Look. Hey, guys. You... No, I'm not done. I'm still alive, but you, you, good. you can come sit down. It's not too strict. Can't it, <laughs> you can't hold what? <laughs> he was trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> They're so... When I tell you Mark and Pierre are so annoying, y'all have no idea. They were in the kitchen whispering, trying to be quiet. He was trying not to But laugh. not being quiet. <laughs> I can't stand them. I really can't stand them. Is it too late to enter the giveaway? No, it's not. Go ahead and enter it, babes. You just never know. How's the projection and longevity? Oh, I was just about to get into that right before Pierre, uh, not Pierre, Mark interrupted me. Um, longevity with them are really good. I feel like some of the fragrances, to be honest with you guys, are not heavy in the projection. And those are the ones that I'm not sharing with you guys, only because those are the ones that I wear least. Like, if it doesn't have no projection or sillage, I kind of gravitate towards the ones that do. So Burning Bridges is a beautiful tobacco vanilla fragrance. It is smooth. It is so powdery, but also sweet. So like it has the perfect balance between sweet and powder that I really like. Burning bridges. It's literally burning bridges. So it has that smoky aspect to it that you probably wouldn't find in tobacco vanille because tobacco vanille is more tobacco. It's not smoke. Whereas this one has that smoky aspect. Hence the name burning bridges. Really cool. It's really good too. Somebody said hi, Mark and Pierre. Hi, Mark and Pierre. Look, on, I'm telling Pierre. you all I love tobacco. you good. Vanille. I'm going to have to check out Sniff. Yeah, it's good. And then they're $65, 30 ml. Like I said, they don't they don't um, spend money on their um, packaging. So that way you can have quality fragrance. Really, really love the way Sniff does their fragrances. It's really nice. Yeah, you're going to like this one. Now, this next one, a lot of people really like it. This one is um, Sweet Ash. And... <laughs> It's okay. Be quiet. it's okay, Mark. It's okay. They already heard y'all. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> they already heard y'all. But sweet. It's <laughs> Mark saying he's in big trouble. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to end, like, start like this. Um, is it b like By the Fireplace? Um, By the Fireplace is more smoky only because of the chestnut and the wood. That's why. But this, it's not like By the Fireplace. Next one is Sweet Ash, and it's exactly what y'all hear it is. It's like ash, but sweet. 
Um, it has that smokiness too, but a lot of people compare this to Baccarat Rouge by 40. And I will have to say, it smells very close. I would say it smells about 80% close to Baccarat Rouge. It's not... <laughs> Abby, I made it to your live. <laughs> I know I don't go live often. It's, it's kind of weird. I know. Hey, y'all. I didn't know y'all was live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I put it on my Instagram stories, you guys. Go ahead and put it on y'all. Like, literally follow me on Instagram because I put all the updates on my Instagram stories. But, yeah, Sweet Ash is almost like Baccarat. Um, is that that Ash Baccarat 540? It's not Baccarat 540, but it does remind me of Baccarat 540. Honestly, let me just be completely honest with you guys since we're live and... You know, um, if you spray this on and somebody else that has Baccarat Rouge 540, they smell this. If you walk past them, they're not going to know the difference. I promise you. Every single time I wear this, people will be like, oh, you're wearing Baccarat? I'm like, sure. <laughs> so, yeah, $65 for a Baccarat um, S-like fragrance. Why not? It's nice. It's really nice. Um, and then if you use my discount code, you already know that you're going to save extra percentage off and usually there's sales too so <laughs> usually there's sales so um i like when they have the 30 percent off they've had the 30 percent off like during the season hopefully they have a spring sale i don't know don't hold me to it but yeah it's nice it's nice sweet ash is another favorite um this is my third bottle believe it or not so i really like that i like to wear them to bed a lot and then i like to wear them when i'm layering fragrances i would just spray them on and go like if i want something sweet and i'm wearing tart deco i put a little bit of sweet ash on top of it and i'm good for the rest of the day super long lasting like i said the sniff fragrances that i'm sharing with you guys are the ones that really last long and that projects really long abby i think everyone is mistaking the heart for the like for the thumb oh <laughs> y'all <laughs> listen Hey, bestie. <laughs> who? Who do you think? Sterling. Oh, you don't know who Who's I'm talking that? about? All right. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, do they deliver? That's a good question. I'm not sure if they deliver. I think they probably would say that on their um, website, I feel like. But they're also at Ulta Beauty. If you guys didn't know, the main core fragrances are at Ulta Beauty. So definitely check it out at your nearest um, Ulta. It's probably like in an end cap. It's not where the fragrances are. It's where like the new and upcoming things are. Just like how Sephora has their new and upcoming um, end cap. It's there because they just got into Ulta. So they don't have like their specific spot yet. Um, if that makes sense. Ulta. Boom. Sweet Ash is on sale tomorrow, so definitely get it out at Ulta. I'll put a link there for y'all tomorrow, too, in my community tab if y'all want. Next one is Vanilla Vice, which is their newest release. It is a creamy, spicy vanilla. Now, what I didn't like that they did, when they were doing the ad, they used ice cream and an ice cream cone, and then it was melting. So everybody was under the impression, even me, that it was going to be like a creamy vanilla no, this is like a vanilla fragrance that I would put on a man. Give me your hand, oh. silly. I smell good. Smell this shirt. Right here. Oh, it's my other. Oh, really? Like still kicking. Yup. So yeah, like I would put this on a man. Like this is definitely giving unisex. It's not like a, that creamy, warm vanilla. So. I want you guys to take that out of your mind. It's not a creamy, warm vanilla. It's definitely giving spice. It's very sweet. It's almost like hard candy as well. So it's one of those fragrances that I really like. But everybody was under the impression that it was going to be a heavy dose of, you know, um, creamy, melting vanilla. It's not. How, how many besties she got, Mark? <laughs> I only got... Actually, now I have zero. <laughs> I got zero besties. I'm over the titles. Whatever I, I show you, that's it. Period. <laughs> uh, X out the comments. Hit this the thumbs bad. up button. And then come back to the comments. Boom. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that, you guys. Because that is basically like... um I know, right? It's not bad. 
That is like giving the live a like, but you're not really liking the... I don't know how the math is mathing on YouTube. The mathematics. So, um, Vanilla Vice is bomb. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Definitely check this one out. They came out with a vanilla fragrance. I just felt like the ad should have been a little different. So, I really like this one, Vanilla Vice by Sniff. Definitely check it out. Use my code, of course. The next complimented one is a fig fragrance, which is Val Factor. Now, this one is one that I was wearing in the beginning of the year, like literally in the first couple of weeks of December, December January, um, when I was on my little two-week break from YouTube because y'all know I was going ham on um, Vlogmas, posting every single day, sometimes twice a day. So, this right here really did its, its big one for me. It was a fresh... Cr not creamy but like a fresh spicy earthy fig fragrance it has a little sweetness in it too this one was in collaboration with perfume Prof professor perfume on instagram and tiktok if y'all know her she is amazing and i like her name because she really teaches you about perfume like i'll tell y'all about the background once in a blue moon but i'm more of a, like a this is how it makes me feel. This is the reactions I get. She is like literally like the perfume nerd. So definitely follow her. This is her perfume release with Sniff and I love it. And what's so special about this one, this is the one that she made for her wedding that's coming up. So this is what she's gonna be wearing on her wedding day. And she was like, hell, I'm gonna have everybody smelling good on my wedding day too. Now me personally, I don't want nobody to smell like me on my wedding day, nobody did. But whatever you like, whatever rocks your boat, I'm down with it, okay? So, Val Factor is amazing, and I like it a lot. And she did her big one with that one. If you're looking for a fig fragrance, and if, you, if, if, if you're if you new to fig fragrances, bomb, bomb. Definitely check this one out. It's amazing. Okay, let's see here. I'm glad you're feeling better. I am, I am, y'all. I literally thought I was going to take my last breath. <laughs> I was bad and the headache and the fever. Everything was just so horrible. Mark took care of me though. When he was not being annoying. No, I didn't. Girl, I should have. I was not annoying. Girl, I shouldn't even be here watching you because you'd be taking all my shmoney. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Look. Actually, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not sorry. I want y'all to smell good too. <laughs> and if y'all, y'all have to spend money on it too. Look, but don't spend your rent money on no perfume. Don't spend your bill money on your perfume. I promise you, it's not worth it. Because the moment you open that perfume and you spray it on, you're like, oh yay! You're gonna have that high to go buy another one. So take your time. Enjoy what you have. Because I promise you, unless I tell you, like I said earlier, unless I tell you something's going to be discontinued, don't feel pressured to buy it because I said to buy it at the moment. No. Don't feel pressured. Y'all know how I am. I'm going to give y'all the affordable options. I'm going to give y'all the expensive options. And I'm going to always tell y'all if it's meant, if, if you need to buy it right now. And half of the fragrances you don't need to buy it right now unless I specifically tell y'all. So don't spend all your shmoney on the perfume, girl. You know, like what I used to do. I would spend, I used to buy like two fragrances a month. That was a lot back then for me. And then when I used to do that, I felt like that was not enough. Then I was buying three. Then I was buying four. Then I started to tell Mark, that fragrance was already there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, it worked out in the long run, but don't fall into that rabbit hole because you're, it's going to be really hard to get out of. If I recommend a fragrance, nine times out of 10, I recommend it for people that have no idea about fragrances or I recommend it for people that you know are looking for that specific fragrance but if you are a cherry bomb OG an OG cherry bomb or a new and up and coming loyal cherry bomb because y'all know some cherry bombs they just say they're cherry bombs but they're just here lurking you know um you don't have to feel pressured because you never know like if you're really an OG cherry bomb you probably will randomly find a box in front of your door and it's full with fragrances um, with my um, giveaways. So definitely um, don't feel pressured to buy anything. I promise y'all don't. I love that you said that because I definitely have to slow down and enjoy what I have. Yeah, enjoy what you have. Like I haven't bought a fragrance in so, 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 so long. Wait, well, before I bought Bianco Latte, I haven't bought a fragrance in so long um, before then. And I was just enjoying my stuff. And obviously 
because I get scent fragrances almost every week. That's another reason why. But even if I wasn't, I really told myself that I really want to enjoy what I have now. Even if I live 2,000 years, I probably won't even get through half of my collection. So you don't want to be like this. <laughs> it's pretty to look at, but you don't want to be like that. So I'm just letting y'all know. Um, enjoy what you have. Get rid of bottles and then replace a bottle. Um, the next one is um, Crumb Culture. Now this one smells like a buttery croissant literally a butter you want to smell it you never smelled this one before you smell it because you'd be complimenting me not on my beer why was your beer there <laughs> <laughs> this is so freaking Ooh, good right man. yeah it smells like a crumb it smells like a crumb cookie <laughs> a crumb cookie it smells like a fresh you know um at Publix when they do the croissants early in the morning I don't know who works at Publix all right <laughs> anywho y'all go ahead the fresh croissants in the morning don't that smell just like that? Uh, you're a buttery, like, more like a cookie. You think a cookie? No, like baby, like a peanut butter cookie. All right, Mark's nose, nose is off today. <laughs> peanut butter cookie, I don't smell nothing peanut butter about this, but anyways, have... share the live, you guys. Share the live. Oh, Jay on the live. What's up, Jay? <laughs> oh, don't forget to like the video. Thank you, Jay. That's the hey, Jay. Way. Oh, and y'all, let, let me tell y'all something. If y'all want to send super chats too, by all means, I don't mind. I won't tell nobody. You know, I won't tell nobody. I won't. I won't tell your husband. I won't tell your wife. So if y'all want to do that, that's also appreciated. But you don't have to, like I said, because you guys support me enough like honestly just by watching my videos just by taking your time to click the link to watch this live y'all already supported me so i'm just letting you know if y'all just want to do a little razzle dazzle that's that's welcome too but yeah no um crumb culture is so buttery it's sweet it is a really nice gourmand and even people that don't like gourmand like that bomb it's not like them brand new <laughs> Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Claudia, you stupid. Hey, Claudia. <laughs> Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Them Publix croissants early in the morning. OMG, so good, right? They be buttery. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Woo, yes. Crumb Couture is, um. I always say um, culture. Don't know why, but it's creme couture. It's so good. And I like the blue bottle. It's like a really nice gourmand. I find that this lasts long too. So yeah, that was my sniff collection. So we got creme couture. We got burning bridges, um, sweet ash, vanilla vice, um, vow factor, and then tart deco. Mark put it away for some reason. Oh, you let me go. No, no, no. It's okay. Because now you can put help. These, yeah, now you can put those away because I'm done with them. Yes. But yeah, y'all, that was um the sniff collection that is very complicated complicated, complimented. Is that your hubby crawling around? <laughs> yeah, that is on? that is my husband crawling around. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the charger without disrupting those <laughs> mm. Y'all are y'all drinking? Don't let me get lit on here. And y'all, I'll be the only one. You're not. I'm with you. All right. Let me give Pierre some time. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. So I have so much I accumulated from watching you and other creators. I oversprayed so I can use them up. Period. That's another thing. If you guys have a lot, because I know, like, no matter how many times the creators say, oh, Abby, don't buy too much. Don't buy too much. I was still chup, 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 chup in the beginning. So just wear them, spray them, wear them, like spray them on your linen. If you have like a fresh and clean one, spray them everywhere. Like y'all don't listen to me. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> All right. Now that we're done with our sniff collection, let's get into our um, niche and designer. Now, Middle Eastern fragrances, I count them as niche too. And Novitus Perfume, I count them as niche. But because I have multiple of those, I put them in their own category. Um, but like, let's get into the designer fragrances. Now, you guys, this next one, oh my God. I've been watching you since you used to have the background of the fireplace. I, it was a vibe. Oh my gosh. Christina, 
Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. That's a long time. That's basically five years of you watching me and you're still here. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Because it's not easy to find loyal people. Creme Couture and Vanilla Vice on my list. They're good. They're good. They are good. Been watching your video for a while and I love your channel. You have some videos like the one you did for Brown Sugar Babes and the Baccarat Dupes. I love your channel. Go girl. Um. Oh, you said you like the videos, like the ones that I did. Thank you. I thought you was asking me if I have other videos like that. Thank you so much. Love, love the support. Thank you guys so much. Like I kind of, um, I don't, I'm not used to hearing those type of compliments. So like sometimes I don't know what to say, but thank you. Like, thank you. You guys are, you guys are everything. Y'all really are everything. Because the funny thing is a lot of you guys have never met me before. And you guys be riding for me more than people that know me. Shout out to the OG chair bombs. Hey, <laughs> period. Love y'all. The next fragrance, now that we're in the designer list that I've been enjoying. How many, how long have we been here? 35 minutes. God dang, I could talk. Um, is Glossier U. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if y'all could see. Can y'all see? No, y'all can't see. But I've had this for less than, I want to say less than six months. And I just started recently wearing it, like maybe in January. And I love it. It lasts all day long. It's like your your skin, but better. Honestly, it's a little bit more of a elevated your skin, but better. But this is what I was wearing when I didn't have or didn't feel like wearing something that was super sweet and dense and sensual. Like, cause I have those days too. Y'all know I am a gourmand lover. I am a spicy, sensual, ambery, vanilla queen but there's days where i just don't want to wear that you know and this was coming into play and i love it it's so fresh and i like to wear this to the gym too because every time i wear this while i'm working out i get whiffs of it and i don't want to smell sweaty even though i'm sweating i want to smell good and this right here perfect for the gym oh my god so good it smells amazing it smells amazing How's my weight loss journey? Honestly, my weight loss journey, it's been weird because I started to work out and then I was going in on, in on it, losing a little bit of weight and then boom, Vlogmas came and I decided to do Vlogmas and I was just so focused on that. And then after that, I went back to the gym in the beginning of the year and I was being consistent. And then I stopped being consistent recently when I got sick, which was like two weeks ago and i'm planning on going back next week so the key to losing weight i feel like is eating and that's where i struggle child i like me the wings and i like the pizza i do i don't have a problem working out i just need to have like i got the um working down working out down pack i just need to get the eating right down pack and i do eat way healthier than i did before but there's a little bit of change that i still need to do especially i shouldn't be drinking but hey there's that. <sighs> so <laughs> that's how it's going. It's still going, baby. <laughs> I've been wondering about Glossier U. I might have to get a sample. I bought the Balder Freak for the gym. Do you think that would work? Honestly, that would work. Um, It's a little, well, is it strong? Like I remember the scent profile being a little strong, Um, but it. I feel like it was on the, softer side as well but honestly let me just be honest sometimes when i'm testing out a fragrance i wear it to the gym as well so it could be a fragrance that's as strong as delina and it could be a fragrance that's as, um light as amazing grace by philosophy so you know you can wear whatever you want to the gym it i, w I don't discriminate to the fragrances but i've been loving that one for real because it's not too overpowering where i'm distracted by my workout but i could still get whiffs of it throughout the whole workout if that makes sense. Um, yeah. The hardest part is the nutrients. Oh my God, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I have, oh yes, I have. It's actually really nice. I don't have any of the, her fragrances in my collection though. Besides the Erin line, I don't have any. But y'all, the next most complimented, 
Y'all, needs no introduction. Needs no introduction. Fenty Eau de Parfume. What? Blueberries, amber, is it amber patchouli? Um, does it have rose in it? I don't remember if it has rose, but it has musk. Oh my God, so good. Girl, girl, girl. I love this. I, oh, okay. It's one thing to say I love a fragrance, but when you see the dent, you know I really love it. Cause I could love a fragrance and then I put it down and I go work on the ones that I've been working on until it's time for me to get back at it. But this one right here, child, you see the dent. Like if you see a dent, you know I love that fragrance. Fenty Auto Perfume is so good. Mark loves this one on me. Every single time I wear it, like he probably don't know the name, but every time I wear it, he goes insane, insane. Set alarms three hours apart and try to stick to that religiously. Don't skip meals. And I used to skip by accident or even on purpose. <laughs> so, okay, I'll try that. I'll try to set an alarm. That sounds like a good idea. And it sounds so like common sense, but like who thinks about that, right? It sounds like something that you would automatically know, but I'm gonna try that. Thank you so much, Elena. Fenty Parfume is nice. It's one of those phrases either you like it or you don't. And I just happen to like it. And when I first smelled it, I was like, okay, this is not too bad. But like when I really wore it, I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. And then when I wore it for, you know, just for attention to sm for people to smell it on me. So that means like over spraying it. Oh yeah, that's when I fell in love because Mark gave me compliments, friends gave me compliments. Like it's a compliment getter. Paired with the perfume um, body, body butter, the perfume body cream, I think. 10 out of 10, really nice. Another one that's extremely complimented um, when I wear it is Goddess by Burberry. And this is new to the collection and it has a dent, like it has a dent. Now this is not as big as the other ones, but it's a dent, okay? Love this one. It's a simple fragrance. It's nothing too groundbreaking. It's lavender and vanilla. So you guys know that lavender is associated. I associate lavender. Let me just say that. I associate lavender with men fragrances. Um, Because I find that in men fragrances as well. But when you pair it with the vanilla, bomb. Bomb. So I find myself getting compliments from men. I remember um when I went to the post office and we were standing in the line. Um, and this guy tapped me on the shoulder because I always, whenever I'm by myself, I usually have an Air AirPods in. So one of y'all told me that's not good because if I get snatched, I'm not even going to know. But like, I mean, I don't know when they put their hands on me, you know. But um, I usually have my head headphones in because I don't like, believe it or not, I don't really like attention like that. So he tapped me. So I'm like, okay, what's up? And he said, you smell really nice. Just wanted to let you know that. I was like, thank you. And then I went back to my music. Bomb. Bomb. It's nothing groundbreaking. I feel like if you have Libre, you don't need this, you know, because I feel like they're in the same category. Vanilla, vanilla, blah, 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 right? Um, but if you don't have Libre or you just finished Libre and you still like that scent profile, Goddess is really nice. I think it's nice. I've worn it instead of wearing Libre. Like the other day I was looking at Libre and I looked at this and I picked this one because I just felt like wearing Goddess. You know, it's one of those like... But if you already have Libre, you don't need to get this one. And y'all know I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. You don't need this if you have Libre. Or if you have this, you don't need Libre. Just being honest. Just being honest. So for the girls that love Libre or love Goddess, don't come after me. I'm just being honest letting y'all know. Okay. Finally sprayed my wrist yesterday. And after the dry down, I was like, okay. I don't know if I could put a foot. See? And sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's like that. It could be like that. What do you think about the Soda Janeiro 62 um, perfume? Not the mist, the EDP. You smelled it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And before I got the perfume, I had a dupe from Dapper Fragrances. Love that. And then I wanted to get the perfume. Love it. Love it. It's good. It's really good. It's like a more elevated um, perfume. Mist. So if you wear the Boom Boom Cream and it's boom boom not bum bum i know i met when i did the partnership with them they were like make sure you say boom boom instead of bum bum I'm like why didn't they just spell it boom boom but who knows i guess it just looked nicer bum bum 
Um, I layered them together and it's so good. It gave me like five hours. But when I layered my other half of my body with the oil in the perfume, I got seven to eight hours. Just being honest, like it's $78. It's not like something that's going to last 28 years. But if you wear it with the oil, it's going to it's going to last you a whole work day. So it's not bad at all. It's not bad. And for a perfume miss, well, that's the perfume I'm talking about. But like for the perfume miss, um, they last a good a while, good amount of time too. Like what? Two hours? Usually perfume mist only lasts two seconds. Just let y'all know. Just being honest. So yeah. Let's see here. Fenty website has a 25 to 30% off happening right now. You're welcome. Period. Thank you for putting the girls on. Katrina, thank you. Yeah, definitely get that body cream and the perfume. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if the perfume is on sale. Because Fenty be doing that. She be putting everything on sale but the perfume products. So definitely check it out. Let me know. Send me a DM real quick. Let me know if it's on there or let me know in the um, chat. Another fragrance is from Kaoli. I know I was not going to do a video without Kaoli fragrances. <laughs> Sparkling lychee. Yo. This one right here, Eden Sparkling Lychee. I didn't think I was going to like it because I don't really. Okay, I like Eden Juicy Apple, but it's not something that's like, oh my God, I have to have it right now. Because for me, it reminds me of an OG Bath and Body Works. Um, was it Apple something? Country Apple? It was not something that I really had to get. Um, honestly, I didn't even buy it. She sent it to me when she sent me this. And I was just like, okay, this is not like the Juicy Apple. Eden Sparkling Lychee is a sparkling lychee and it has um rose champagne in there so it really smells like something that i would wear to a brunch like if we're coming from church i would wear this going to church and then if we're coming from church we're going to brunch or something like that y'all know i love y'all know one thing about me and mark we're gonna have brunch at any time of the day so um yeah i see myself wearing this um for brunch it has black currant sparkling lychee rose damask and candied violets sugared um amber and said no wood. I don't know where Kaylee gets her um her sugared notes, but like, look, if you love it, I love it. Okay, really nice, complimented, and look at the dent. I wore the y'all gonna see the vlogs. I promise you, the vlogs are coming. I just been sick and I didn't feel like editing vlogs. Like vlogs are time consuming and I have to be focused. Like I tried to edit the vlog probably for like two minutes in i was just done i couldn't stay focused i was sneezing i was i was coughing i was just like yeah i turned off the computer real quick i was not about to edit that so they're coming but in the vlog you'll see that i layered this one and the next one that i'm about to tell you guys about which is vanilla 28 by kayali brown sugar vanilla y'all already know this i'm not gonna ponder on it too much this is so amazing. Everybody that have this in their collection knows that it lasts long and it gets you the compliments. Y'all already know this. Love sparkling lychee and layered with yum pistachio. I tried that when it first came out. That's a good one too. That's really nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. Um, let me see here. It's very juicy. Ju juicy. <laughs> it's very juicy. I showered with it. I know that's right. Period period okay y'all this next one i know everybody talk about it but let me just say this i love it <laughs> and i'm gonna be one of the people let's talk about it i joined the bandwagon i know like it was one of those fragrances that i really couldn't get into because one every time i go to ulta and spray i didn't smell anything until they sent it to me and i worked with the brand and i smelled it i said oh so this is why everybody's going crazy it's actually good good Burberry her the original yeah I know in the beginning I didn't understand the hype because every time I would go to Ulta I didn't smell it like I would spray it and I didn't smell nothing like I, I felt like I was going crazy and when I seen that it was in the list for me to get I sprayed it the first day expecting less than nothing <laughs> and when I sprayed it I was just like I was so shocked it smells amazing it smells amazing it's um raspberry it's sour cherry it's strawberry, vanilla. Can't go wrong with this. 
super long lasting and the scent profile was not giving long lasting until i wore it and i was just like yeah i smell this on all day and i still smell it on the shirts when i'm ready to go wash them so good i don't know why y'all didn't tell me how good it was nori why didn't you tell me it was that good <laughs> i didn't know thank you for sharing angela liz when i tell you male and female period i love that for y'all i love that for real just checked and the fenty perfume is on sale too go ahead and get that go ahead and get it it's good it's good and if you don't like it give it to somebody that's all i could say like honestly i feel like it is worth every single penny because like i said when i first tried it i was just like eh okay it's whatever but when I started to wear it and let it sit and settle, I was just like, well, damn, I see what the girls are talking about. And who don't want to smell like Rihanna? I'll wait. Let me see what y'all talking about. Cause I'm over here forgetting that I'm on live and I'm just talking like I'm talking in a regular video. Oh yeah, let me show y'all real, real quick. I've layered Fenty with Vanilla 28. Oh, bomb. Y'all already knew that that was gonna be bomb. I've layered Fenty with this one. And then I actually layered, my favorite layering is with Glossier U. What? These two together are really nice. That's, that's my favorite. But honestly, you can layer this with a lot. And let me tell y'all how I found out about these layering combos, because honestly, I was never layering this with any of these. It's when I got the perfume body cream. And whenever I was wearing something fruity and floral or even sweet, I would put the body cream. And when I seen that the, the layering combos was good, I was like, okay, let me try them with the perfume. Eight left no crumbs behind. No crumbs behind. And these have been very complimented um, throughout the months of January and February. But y'all, let me just show, show y'all these. Let's get into the Middle Eastern fragrances that's extremely complimented. And if you don't know this, it's because you're probably new to the channel. But y'all know me. I love my niche fragrances that's like ranging from $500. But I also love my very inexpensive Middle Eastern fragrances. And these fragrances probably sometimes... Majority of the time, because I wear them a lot, give me more compliments than the expensive fragrances that I do have. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, Abby, where's your Mancera fragrances? Uh, where's your other YSLs and the other Kaolis and the other fragrances, your Jerjoffs? Those are complimented too, but I'm talking about the fragrances that are very complimented in, from January to March. And I didn't wear those too much. These are the ones that I really, really wore. And I documented as well when I got compliments. I, I know it took a lot of time, but y'all, when I had compliments on a fragrance, like when I had, when I remember, I would go in my notes and I'll write the fragrance down and I'll put it like a, a check mark. So like these definitely had over five check marks. So yeah, that's why they made the list. Um, first niche fragrance, which is one of the, not niche, um, Middle Eastern, which is one of the newest in my collection is Juno Noir. This is really nice. And I don't know why it took so long to get this. I don't know why. Um, most people were talking about this. And I feel like I didn't really pay attention, to be honest with y'all. Because me, like, I don't be paying attention like that. I'm not even going to lie. So, um, <laughs> someone say Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah, I know y'all was waiting for this. Because y'all love, look, I love y'all. Y'all love y'all Middle Eastern fragrances, okay? Y'all love, oh, wait, hold on, let me see this. Y'all love y'all Middle Eastern fragrances, and I love that for y'all. I love them too. Like, you can't go wrong. You're smelling good all day, and you don't have to spend more than $50. Why not? I love to give these as gifts too. And then, like, when my friends, especially if it's somebody that asks me for a recommendation, and I know the type of person they are, they're not going to spend too much, you know, money on a fragrance. I like giving them these options because you could still smell like these expensive ones, but on a budget. And you would never know. Like, how would you know? You know? So, who's going to know? How would they know? 
Uh, Juno Noir. This smells exactly like Dama Bianca by Zhirzhov. It's a beautiful powdery vanilla. It has the notes of kumquat. Com Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce these words. And it's pretty. I think it has violet in it as well. It's so pretty. Like, it's so perfect for the springtime. If y'all didn't see that video, I did a Middle Eastern springtime video um, that I recently, well, that's, that, that's probably the last video that I posted before that sickness tried to take me away from y'all. <laughs> Believe it or not, that video was recorded almost two weeks ago. Yeah. It's been two weeks since I really like put on my makeup, set up my camera and film. But you guys didn't notice that because I like to batch record and film when I am feeling good because you just never know what's going to happen the next week or the next day. Um, so I like to like, if I have the time, I just do it because you just never know what tomorrow brings. So I didn't know I was going to be down for two weeks. Thank God I had the content. But y'all, this right here is so good. If y'all don't have it, get it <laughs> it's so nice y'all already know how i feel about that and the bottles are gorgeous yeah they are. now some of them are some of them are not but this one's cute i like it <laughs> it's cute have you tried the xxl one no i have not i don't know what that one is send me send me a picture of that one and then um i'll see i'll see what i can do because i haven't tried that one Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> y'all just responding to each other. I love that for y'all. I love Juno Noir. It lasts hours on me. It does smell like Dama Bianca. I wear it for normal days and Dama Bianca on special occasions. Period. I love that too. Like, I feel like that's another way. That's another reason why I got into the, the, the niche um, dupes and even regular dupes is because if I feel like I love like Lyra, for example, Lyra, I bought that fragrance for what i want to say i got it on a discounter so i, I want to say 200 dollars, right but before i spent that 200 dollars out of my pockets i bought dupes and the dupe was like what 30 dollars and the reason why i did that because i knew i wanted the bottle i knew i wanted the actual thing but i really didn't know if i was gonna fall in love with the fragrance so i bought the dupe first so that way i can know if i'm really gonna fall in love with the fragrance because i'm not about to spend 200 dollars on a fragrance and i don't like it there's no way. So I highly recommend to invest in the dupes or the inspired ones because you just never know. Like, why would you spend that much money on a fragrance and you're just going to have it collect dust? Why? You know? So that's another reason why I like these Middle Eastern fragrances because it allows me to know, like, if I really like that fragrance. So, like, let's say I didn't have Dama Bianca and I bought this and I really wanted Dama Bianca. This is confirmation that I'm going to love Dama Bianca because if I fall in love with this, oh, baby, best believe you're going to fall in love with the real thing. So yeah i'm not a niche snob i have niche but i'm not a snob and i have designers and i'm not a snob i like everything what's the dupe for lira oh um i got that one from dapper fragrances dapperfragrances.com they have top tier top tier dupes top tier and even things that are discontinued and the the funny thing is they have the original version of Lyra because Lyra was this um not discontinued but reformulated. So if you guys look at the bottle of Lyra, it has a white trim by the design. The original had a gold trim. So everything with if you find a bottle that has the gold trim, get it because that is the original formulation. It lasts 12 hours on the skin. I literally have to wash my clothes two times to get it off. I heard I don't have the new formulation, but I heard that the new formulation does not last. So I'm sorry, but Dapper Fragrances do have their dupe, and it's the dupe of the original formulation. So, yeah, you're welcome. The next one, love this one. It is Shragoff Oud Amor. It is a dupe of Mancera Insta Crush, a dupe of Zhirzhov Herba Pearl. And if you guys know me, I really, really love Amber Oud Gold Edition. And I got what, how much, what bottle was I on? I think I was on bottle number five and that finished because me and Mark share it. So that's why it's gone that fast. Um, and then Shagaf Oud sent me this. When I opened it, right when I was about to order it, um, the Amber Oud Gold Edition that week, I was about to order it. But then something said, open the package because I've had this sitting for like a week 
and something was like open the package because I was literally about to sit down and order it and when I opened the package and I did my video and I sprayed this on it smelled exactly like amber oud gold so I was like I was gonna have the same fragrance so yeah so if you like amber oud gold or if you wanted to smell amber oud gold I'm not gonna spray it on me um get this it's a cute bottle if you like red it's nice oh Every time I spray this, every time I wear this, people give me compliments. This is a unisex fragrance. Most people say that it leans more masculine. And most of my male friends, when they smell this fragrance, they order it. It's good. But y'all know me. I don't discriminate. I wear men fragrances, female fragrances, and unisex fragrances. It's just, it's not what you're wearing. It's how you wear it, you know? So this, oh my God. So good. So good. It's a fruity cocktail fragrance, I, I like to say. Perfect for the summertime, perfect for the springtime. So freaking good. And then the, <laughs> the packaging is literally what got me. I didn't have to spend my own money on this, but Shagaf Oud sent it to me and I was proud and happy to share it with you guys. So fruity, so good. You are the truth. <laughs> you keep putting, <laughs> you keep pulling out the bangers. I'm telling you, these were what I was wearing um, in the beginning of the year up until this month i stopped wearing them but um they were my most complimented mm. and they just never fail me i'll be having these fragrances on for 12 hours plus like even when i'm home and i'm testing them out like i would be running out running errands and stuff like that i would be stopped people would be like oh you smell good you smell good you know so so good you can never go wrong with um this scent profile fruity floral and every time i would you guys i went to puerto rico and if you guys didn't know go look at my 48 hours in puerto rico vlog right before we went on the excursion this guy was selling us a cake and i was like sir you smell good what are you wearing and he was like i'll hurt i'll hurt like he was just trying to say the name but but his english is not his first language and i was like i'll her amber oud he's like yeah yeah that one i'm like amber oud go he said yeah and claudia was like Abby, how do people know about Amber Oud Gold all the way in Puerto Rico? I'm like, listen, when you drop a video on TikTok, it goes everywhere. Okay? It doesn't stay in Orlando, Florida, or it doesn't stay in New York. It goes everywhere. Whoever sees it, sees it. So I was so happy to smell that on somebody because up until, not, a, not, a, not until um, 2020, people were not talking about that at all. At all. It's a good one. So not everybody's wearing it. And look, that's not going to stop me from wearing it, to be honest with you guys. So it's really, really good. Really good. Who that work wears it? For real? Mm -hmm. And the minute I smelled it, I was like. <laughs> you gave him that look? It's called R. Hermain. He was like, R. Oh, Hermain. I'm like, I know what you're wearing. I said it's in a little square gold body. He was like, yeah. I was like, that's R. Hermain. That's R. Hermain. Yep, I know that's right. It's either the gold one or the black and gold one. There's a black and gold bottle right here. Yeah, that one. No, gold. Gold and white, Mancera. Gold. But most people don't know about Mancera. A lot of people know about Amber Oud or Al Hermain because the reason why they know, because a lot of these people are not on social media, and some of them are, but if you go to the mall, kiosks, when they're telling you, here, smell a perfume, it's a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances. So Amber Oud is part of that range shagaf oud swiss arabian latafa you'll see all of that there i saw that i love your travel vlogs keep doing more please look <laughs> your words to god's ears as long as god keep blessing me i'll do some more travels and yeah we're definitely traveling this year so stay tuned you guys are gonna be so shocked so shocked at the next destination so shocked it's gonna be it's gonna be epic but anywho y'all the next one it's not that shocking. It's LA. <laughs> but the next one is Oud Tonka. Oud Tonka. This one is inspired by BDK's Velvet Tonka. So if you like Tonka, um, vanilla, almond, this is awesome. So good. So sexy. This is a new one. Now, um, I got this one from Joma Shop. Maison Abraham? No. Is that the one that has the exact bottles that, does that, is that the one that has the Tom Ford dupes? Let me know. Is it? Mm -hmm. 
Which tie is that? Is that doing that work with us? No. Really, Mark? Out of I'm I'm sure it's not. She would she or he would have said that. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this one is good. Ooh, Tonka. Keep hearing about it. It's good. If you like Velvet Tonka by BDK, it's really nice. It's powdery. It's like super feminine. I see someone wearing a nice flowy white dress, pink short nails, or like, um, what is it? Show bunny or snow bunny? Um, nail color like white or pink. Um, Hermes sandals. Cute little Celine bag. Some some love sunglasses y'all know i'm not into the designer like that like that like that but i like the look um nice flowy hair wearing utanka and it's breezy outside not too hot not too cold a good 75 80 degrees outside eating brunch drinking prosecco yeah this is that this is that definitely giving old money rich vibes period that's it it's really nice and then <laughs> pulling out, like, well, y'all know I be going everywhere with my full bottles sometimes, especially when I'm on the run. But pulling out a bottle like this, yeah, you can't tell me nothing. That's so cute. So freaking cute. It looks like royalty. Obviously, I know what it is, so I'm not like, you know, going crazy after it. But someone that don't know, they're like, wow. And the next one, as you guys can see in the caption, not the caption, but like in the thumbnail, is Kamra. 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 Kamra is good. Cinnamon, praline, goodness. I So I remember one time I wore this to rehearsal. And that was when I first got it, right? And then um, that, that next day, I got compliments at rehearsal. The next day I posted the video, the video went live. Why the next rehearsal, two people came to rehearsal smelling like this. And I was like, I know that's right. Oh my gosh, the singer and then one of the musicians came to rehearsal smell like this. I was like, I know that's right. They was like, yeah, I saw the video and I had to get it. The way you was reacting towards the fragrance, I had to get it. And then you mentioned that you wore it at rehearsal and you smelled so good, I had to get it. I was like, period. Y'all, so good. So good. Um, I like to wear this during the fall time, winter time. And honestly, I've worn it all year round in all four seasons. But my favorite time to wear it is during the fall. Sometimes summer when it's not too hot and winter time. But y'all, when you put this on your skin, first of all, it's going to last so long on the skin. But it's one of those places that's crowd pleasing. People are going to gravitate towards you. Now, honestly, because I have such a huge presence on social media, I just feel like people expect me to smell good, you know? But like when people come tell me like, Abby, I wore your fragrance and I get so many compliments. That makes me so happy because I'm like, at least y'all know I'm not like, <laughs> I get compliments. I really do. I do get compliments because I feel like you have to be inviting as well. But like this fragrance really do give compliments. And I posted it on my TikTok and on my Instagram to get it today. And the comments are just saying, you are right. I get compliments. It's so good. People like it. Someone said, um, when I first smelled it, I was like, ew, what is this? And then she was like, after five minutes, she could not stop smelling her her skin. She was like, I can't stop smelling my skin. Like, I can't believe Abby Dunn did it again. And I was just like, girl, <laughs> I'm just, I just love fragrances. And if I find something that I like, I'ma share it. Half of the time, if I find something I don't like, it don't even make it on the channel. Someone was like, Do you even do you even hate fragrances? Like, there's is there fragrances that you don't like? There's a lot, trust me. There's a lot. There's thousands of fragrances that comes um, to this house that leaves that I don't like, but I find a home that likes them. Like I found this fragrance that I just couldn't stand. And my fr friend came here and she was falling in love. You can have it. Bye. It doesn't make it on the channel. It don't. <laughs> and the brand knows too. Like if it's a brand that, you know, most of the brands, they send me a fragrance. They're like, okay, let us know if you like it. If you don't, it's okay. We'll send you something else that's in your taste. And I always be transparent. I'm like, listen, I don't like this. I don't know what it is, but I don't like that. They'll be like, okay, no problem. Let me send you something else. And sometimes they do send something that else that I like. So it's not that I'm just telling you guys to um, that I like them because I just want to tell you. I know, no, I really like these. Because if I don't like them, they're not going to make it to the channel. 
unless it's like a blind opening. Now, if it's like a blind opening, yes, there's a chance that it will make it because I just want to be transparent as far as the unboxings. But like, if it's something that I have to review, baby, mm -mm. if I don't like it, I don't like it. Because I don't want to sell something that I really don't like. So yeah, the next one, we're almost there, y'all. We are almost there. And I can't believe I got it. I, I can't believe I went through 20 fragrances under two hours. Last time I tried to do this, <laughs> we was three hours in. And yeah, that didn't work. Abby, you, <laughs> you have definitely given us some great fragrances. What is your next glow up video? When is your next glow up video? Glow up video. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I actually wrote that down and um, it may come in April. I'm not going to lie. I literally wrote it down, what was it, two nights ago while laying in bed. I said to myself that I need to do my um, my collection video for my cameras and then my glow up video. I have the idea. I wrote it down. It's literally in schedule to be filmed. Like I said, I just been down, girl, but it's coming. It is coming. I didn't forget about y'all. I really didn't. Um, it's coming, though. I promise. Probably in the beginning of April, for sure. Recently discovered your channel. Truly enjoy. Um, sent informative. You are love from South Africa. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Hopefully one day I can go to South Af Africa. Man. I love you, too. Thank you so much for the support. Wow. Um, South Africa. All right. Look. Y'all better treat me good when I go over there. Because I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Girl, you need to try On Arch for real, for real. If you like the Shagaf Oud line, you'll like On Arch. Okay, um, send me a DM. Actually, I'll save this live, so I'll I'll go through the um, list of things. But like, also send me a DM so I can definitely be on there because I would love to try that for sure. These are some of my favorites. Take your time. Period. <laughs> Look, I'll be trying to run through these because I don't want to be wasting your time at all. Will you be getting Jackie Hanna's fragrance? I'm patiently waiting for the it. Yes. When I seen that, I was like, yes, Jackie. I honestly wanted her to bring out the fragrance before the candle, but we got the candles first. And I'm not mad at it, but I can't wait for this fragrance to drop. The bottle is cute. It's not like my cup of tea, but it's cute. But it's not ugly. It's cute. You know, it's definitely giving cute. And when I looked at it more and more, I noticed that it is giving Jackie style. Like, it is something that she would have done. When I first seen it, I was like, oh, I didn't expect that bottle. But when I really looked at it and I took my time and I listened to the story, yeah, it's all Jackie. I, know. I, I can't wait for her to drop it. Um, I think she said she's dropping it in April. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be one of the first people to buy that. Yes, ma'am. I don't care how much it is. I'm definitely going to be buying that. Yes, ma'am. I cannot wait. Especially the message behind it. Are you doing a meetup in LA? No, I'm not. I'm actually going to be there for Sephora Squad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there for Sephora Squad in May. And then after that, I'm going to be um, doing more traveling. May is going to be a really busy month for me, for sure. Like, I probably won't even be at home the whole May. So, yeah. Um, Y'all, the next one is Club de Nuit Imperial. This is probably like my favorite, favorite find of 2024 so far um, in the Middle Eastern fragrances, like when I was doing my Middle Eastern haul, cause I honestly blind bought it without knowing what it was. And it turned out to be one of the most sought out fragrance dupes that I've tried. And nobody was talking about it, about it until I posted it. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that posted it, but I didn't see it. Um, and I decided to blind buy it. You guys, this is a dupe of Delina exclusive. Obviously, if you watch my videos, you would have known that already because I did share this when I first got it. But I'm just so shocked that this is a dupe for Delina exclusive. Like nobody's talking about it. Like y'all talking about Zherzhov. Like most people don't know about Zherzhov. But Delina, everybody knows about Delina if you're getting into niche. Like that's literally in the top five um, niche fragrances that most people recommend, especially if you go into Bloomingdale's and Neiman's. And nobody talked about it. I love it. It is so good. Spot on. So long lasting. Now, I will never say that it lasts longer than Delina. And if I said it, ignore that. Because honestly, Delina is 12 plus hours. 
And this is right there with it. 12 plus hours on the skin. Spread it on Claudia. She was like, dang, this thing lasts forever. I had to wash it off. Spread it on Mark. Mark was like, dang. It lasts long. And then you guys have been saying that too. It lasts so, so long. So long. I can't believe that it is that long lasting. I blonde bought it too. It's lovely. And bought it because of you. Aw. Y'all just be, y'all be putting y'all trust in me. And I love that for me because sometimes I don't even be trusting myself. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'd be like, girl, you know you said that. But you sure about that? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, try White Ink by Fragrance World. Nobody has talked about it. You'll love it. Okay. Okay. Send me a DM, White Ink. That don't even sound like it's good, though. Is it good? White Ink. Not, not, <laughs> I'm repeating it a couple times. Ink? Ink? What that smell like? Let me know. Ink? oh listen i'm gonna put you on okay be ready thomas kosmala all 140 you guys need to run okay look run don't walk i love that this smells so good y'all another one that i really love and like i said if i didn't say it already everything is in the description so if you take your time and look at the description you'll see everything you'll see the links if there's discount codes you'll see that there direct links and then if you don't feel like they are commissioned by the way if you don't feel like support me that way by all means search it on youtube search it on google you'll find it that way as well but i do have it there for your convenience it's amazing and the last fragrance you guys before i start answering questions and continue drinking with you all um is nebras what what so don't act like you didn't know that I was about, I was about to talk about Nebraska. Don't act like that. Don't act shock. You already know that. The blind buy is real for the OG trips. <laughs> Look, y'all was blind buying while I was blind buying. I love that for me and you guys. You guys are the real goats because y'all trusted in me before most people did. Before the popularity. And I feel like I'm not even that popular. Like, sometimes I'd be forgetting that I am on social media until somebody randomly says, Oh my God, you're, you're, you're Abby from the chest, stuttering and all. And I'm like, Oh my God, thank you. Like, I've, everybody that's been with me recently, at least one time they've experienced it. Mark experienced it. Y'all know Gabby. Gabby is my brother's girlfriend. And yesterday she experienced it. We went to the mall, and right when we was leaving Macy's, this lady, I walked past her and um, she was doing makeup. So beautiful. If you're watching this or if you ever watch this playback, you are amazing. And she smelled amazing. And she, she I walked past her while she was helping a customer. And then she took a two step back and she said, oh my God, I think I follow you. And she cut the corner. And I was like, you follow me? No, you don't. And then she was like, um, yeah, I do. I think I do. And, I was, she, and she looked back. She was like, the Cherish TV, you talk about perfume? I was like, yeah. She was like, oh my God. And I was just like, and then here go Gabby in the background like, this really does happen. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, because the thing, like, I, I'd be forgetting that. Like, okay, think about it this way. You guys are watching me. I'm not watching you guys. So I don't know who you are. So that's why I always encourage to walk up to me. Like, say hi, introduce yourself. Um, I'm not rude. I'm a nice person. I'm going to say hi back. I promise y'all. You know, one time I got tackled by one of y'all. Y'all, I was in Sephora and there was this old lady. She came, she came in there. She's like, no way. No way. And then everybody stopped. And I stopped. I'm like thinking that somebody was chasing her. Or she was having a heart attack. Like, we didn't understand. And she was like, no effing way. And we was all looking like, like everybody in the front of the store stopped. And she was like, there's no way. This is Abby from the chest. I was just like so embarrassed at that point. And she ran up to me. And what you thought I was going to do? Knock the old lady down. No, I just took the hug. I just took it. And then I was so excited. She was so happy. She shook me and she was so happy. She's like, you have no idea. Like I feel, and then like, whenever I meet people like you guys, my chair bombs, my tribe, it makes me so happy because you guys have like deeper stories. Like I'm just talking about fragrances and I didn't understand how deep it was until you guys tell me like, I, I'm just saying, hey, smell this. It smells good. You'll smell amazing. But it's when like you guys um, see me and y'all literally tell me like, listen, I just had a baby. I didn't feel pretty. 
And the moment I sprayed this fragrance on, my husband is crazy after me again. And I didn't feel like a beautiful, uh, I didn't feel like myself until I put the fragrance on. I was like, God damn. Like, it's really deeper than just perfume. And I really appreciate you guys. So if y'all ever see me in person, please don't hesitate and come say hi. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, you guys, um, for chilling with me. I gotta go. Um, <laughs> I would love... I would love to stay longer with you guys, but thank you so much, you guys, for all the support. Like I said, I am back, okay? That flu thought it could take me down, but God said no. She still got more work to do on here. So um, <laughs> I love you guys, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I will be live again. Y'all will see it. I promise you guys it's going to be more professional than this one. But everything is linked in the description box below. I love y'all. Thank you so much for riding with me. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys in this week's vlog and in this week's video. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Um, if you made it this far, I really do love y'all. I promise y'all I do. Um, thank you. Thank you. Bye, cherry bombs. <laughs>